Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This episode is about the Ucontrol 3.2.2 update and how it improves and adds to the functionality of the S3 and is also the first officially supported version for OS X Yosemite. Installing the software is simple. Download the Ucontrol 3.2.2 version to your computer and install. See the earlier S3 video on installing and setting up Ucontrol software if this isn't a familiar process or if the S3 fails to connect to the software. Ucontrol will auto launch upon completed installation. In Ucontrol settings, select the Surfaces tab. Once the S3 is selected in My Surfaces, check the firmware version by pressing Update Firmware while the S3 is still selected. If it is not the latest version of the firmware, follow the instructions on the screen exactly as described. Failure to do so can be problematic. Once the update is finished, it will reboot the Surface automatically. It takes a few minutes, so be patient. Do not power down the Surface unless requested to do so. Follow the same procedure for the Artist Transport if you're running that as well. As an aside, all Artist surfaces need a firmware update with Ucontrol 3.2.2. The S3 should update to firmware version 1.1.3, and if you're using an Artist Transport, which you should be, it will update to 1.1.8. If you have trouble updating the firmware, see the Ucontrol 3.2.2 README PDF for guidance. It exists in the disk image within the installer. Updating Ucontrol and the firmware will not purge your custom soft keys or preferences so you don't have to worry about saving those or backing those up. 3.2.2 has a plethora of bug fixes and stability enhancements, as well as full Yosemite support. What's new? You'll notice that when displaying EQ and Dynamics in channel mode, upper or lower encoders, when selecting a new channel, both encoder display and plugin display follow the channel selected. Even if the surface doesn't display the parameters, the plugin, if the preference is selected, will follow on screen. You'll also notice the method for editing assigning both inputs and outputs has changed. To assign or change input, select a channel, then on the upper channel modes, select Input. You'll see either no input or the currently assigned input. To change it, press the encoder, select the interface or bus by pressing the encoder under each respective title. Once the desired bus or interface is selected by turning the encoder, while still holding the encoder, press the IN key below that encoder. Exit out of input one step back using the top back key and you'll see the newly assigned input. Outputs are assigned exactly the same way from the mix section in channel mode. You can also assign multiple outputs to a channel by selecting the additional outputs using the same encoder method and pressing the select key instead of the in key for additional outputs. When you back out, you'll see a plus sign next to the primary output selection. To see which outputs the track is assigned to, turn the respective encoder until you see the input select keys light up, and by pressing either lighted key, that will remove it as an output. Now for the cool stuff. First, accessing U-Control from the surface is simple. Hold the surface shift key and press select of any channel. This brings up the channel assignment page for layouts in U-Control. See the S3 video on layouts for more information. Now that the I key is enabled in 322, Pressing that key brings the U control to the foreground with the soft keys page selected. Here's where things get really cool. Programming soft keys on the S3 is simple, just like programming on the Artist Transport and the Control. See the video on S3 with Artist Transport for more information. The soft keys on the S3 are the left control, right control, the arrows views, and the touch strip. The left control keys are default assigned to layouts, A through F, and shift layer layouts, G through L as well as the user, which is save, and multi-assign key. The right control keys are defaulted to automation modes, eight keys on page one and eight keys on page two. The six arrow view keys are soft, as well as the shift layer of these keys. The touch strip is assignable as well and is by default unassigned on the surface layer, but holding the surface shift key brings up basic transport controls to the S3. Any of these keys can be assigned any Yukon, keyboard command, MC command, which is layouts, or wheel command. All told, there are 51 user assignable soft keys on S3 with Ucontrol 322. Let's quickly assign a function to the touch strip, for example. I already have some functions assigned to the surface layer of the touch strip, but I want to add the ability to switch between the edit mix window quickly without using the keyboard. First, touch the I key and select the touch strip. The fourth key is unassigned, so I'll touch that one. After selecting the fourth key to assign, I'll click Command, then choose Add Yukon Command, and then select Edit Window Menu, and then Mix Edit Toggle. 
choose a color, do my favorite graffiti font, remember to save, and I'm ready to go back to mixing. As a reminder, your custom soft key assignments are global and track layouts are session specific, so they will actually recall on a session by session basis. So when I hit save in U Control, I'm actually only saving my soft key assignments, not my layouts. Layouts are saved with the session. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 user guide for U Control 3.2.2.